<laughs> yeah. I figured you were going to go on six meters there, Wayne. <laughs> I've got the uh, digital camera turned on there now. Boy, you're just blasting in here. Yeah, nice audio quality this way. How are you? E3, triple J, B3, GQD. Yeah, B3, GQD, B3, JJJ. I'm doing just fine, Reg, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't know what I was thinking. Well, I wasn't, I guess. I wasn't thinking. So, uh, I was on an automatic pilot there. And, uh, but, uh, as I said, finally woke up and here I am. Yeah, your audio sounds really good there this morning too, Reg, and you're just, uh, you're about 40 over 9 here. I don't know how many watts you're running there this morning, but uh, you're doing a good job in here with your uh, with your uh, transmitter and your uh, tuner and your antenna from, uh, from that location. Yeah, just booming in here. I'm only running, uh, meter says about 10 watts, so... Uh, I guess that's not too bad. I don't think I need any more than that, and I'm glad that the modulation sounds okay uh, for this uh, for this radio. That's uh, that's encouraging. It's nice and convenient to use the transceiver here. So uh, yeah, glad it's sounding okay. So I got your email there this morning and uh, replied. You may have seen the reply. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So you're still going to work on that uh, Viking. That's good. That's good. So uh, you can let me know when you want me to uh, come over and uh, wrangle that thing out of the basement. Over. Yeah, okay, Wayne. Very good. I'm running about 200 watts here with uh, carrier, Wayne. So let me turn the power down and let me know if the audio changes its quality. I, I don't think it will, but just curious, you know. Here we go. It's about 100 watts there now. Don't want to go any lower than that. You know the SWR on this is flat. Nothing. I can't even see the needle move there, Wayne. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I figured, you know, uh, getting the Viking to uh, transmitter working for him. You know, I kind of was thinking about it. You know, he's all excited. You know, and It'll be, it'll be his first boat anchor. So I figured I'll give it my best shot and get it to work for him, you know. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to be leaving here in about half an hour. And uh, I'm going to go to the uh, uh, Francis uh, QTH there. And then uh, when I, once I get there, I'll give you a call. And you can come over and uh, give me a hand. Over, over. Yeah, Roger, no problem at all. Yeah, just give me a call and I'll drive on over there. Um, the audio um, suffered a little bit there when you uh, when you reduced the uh, output. Yeah, as soon as you reduced it, as you were reducing it, the, there was a AC hum there that uh, increased. Uh, didn't hear it before, but uh, as soon as you reduce the output, uh, the more you reduced it, uh, I, could, I could tell you're reducing it, uh, you know, slowly, and uh, and uh, AC hum kind of got a little, uh, little worse. So uh, yeah, don't know what's going on there. Kind of interesting. <clears throat> yeah, it's very noticeable at that power level too. So it could be that we're so close, but. Uh, uh, I don't think so because when you're at the higher uh, power level, I didn't uh, I didn't hear it. So yeah, so that's the report on that. So what else is going on? Oh, I was just wondering, uh, do you know uh, how much is wrong with that uh, with that Viking? If there's, uh, you know, are you going to do a lot of surgery or is it just uh, minor surgery? Go ahead. Oh, I think it'd be major surgery, Wayne. <laughs> Let me turn the power up there now. Uh, see if that hum goes away. I don't know why uh, the hum level would go up. Would go up, you know, we reduce power, but I'm not concerned about that, anyways. So we crank her up here now. <clears throat> yeah. 
Here we go. That's about 200 watts there now. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it'll be a lot of work. It'll be like the uh, Seneca, you know. I have to rip the whole thing apart and clean it up, and uh, might paint the cabinet too a bit, you know. And it'll be okay. Uh, give me something to do, anyway. Eh, Yeah, Roger. <clears throat> I can relate with that now. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm uh, uh, working and trying to find something to do around here. I've got, uh, oh, I think Susan's going to keep me busy at least for a while <clears throat> with some household chores and tidying up that uh, is long overdue. So we'll get to that. Got some yard work to do and, uh, you know, the usual stuff. So, uh, yeah, well, that's, that's very good of you to uh, put that much work into uh, into the radio before you uh, hand it over to the guy. But, uh, yeah, it's his first uh, <clears throat> foray into the uh, ancient uh, equipment. So it'd be nice if he has a good experience, I guess, first time at bat. So, uh, and uh, with, uh, with, your, uh, with your skill at the... Uh, at the helm there, I'm sure uh, he'll he'll be receiving a a fine piece of gear that'll uh, serve him for many years to come. That's great. Uh, what else is going on here? Oh, I was doing the, the old job search thing this morning, just uh, slowly getting uh, underway. Yeah, it's going to take me some time. I'm going to take my time at it and uh, see if I can't get the right place. Just not just any place. I think that would be important. And, uh, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the time I've got here. Susan's only working uh, part-time, so we've got, uh, we're, we're almost like we're semi-retired here <laughs> for a while. We'll see if we can, uh, if we can cope with that uh, uh, or not. I think we'll be fine. It's been nice night the last few days. Very relaxing. Uh, so we'll see how that goes in the long term. Uh, what else? I don't think there's anything else here, Rich. So I'll turn it back to you. V3GKD, V3JJJ.